Is that you, Apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Is that you, Apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. What exactly does this entail? Yes, well, let's just say circumstances have changed since Tulak Horde hid his artifact. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. Oh dear. What am I into this time? You've done the impossible before. You'll do it again. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. You want me to work with an Imperial? Those who succeed without the Force make up for what they lack with a certain resourcefulness. Don't write Bessica off. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. No doubt the Republic's hounds will get in your way. I will destroy the enemies of the Empire. I expect nothing less. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. There's something of great value in one of the hazard vaults. The one that was blown open. I heard you could help. Ah, who's this? Sith? And an alien at that? It's a real pleasure. I have a son on Coriban, you know. It's a tough war you're walking into. We're fixing blasters with adhesive tape. But we'll help you any way we can. Now, let's see. A blown open vault. Hmm. Uh, Captain, do we still have those pumps? Sir, if this is the vault I think it is, it won't be that easy. The fumes alone have put men in the medical center. Do we have anything else we can work with? We need some way to make this pit less deadly. Tell me, Captain, is there nothing that can survive the toxic waste? Well, nothing grows there, sir. But there are the colicoids. Colicoids? What do those bugs want with toxic waste? Food, sir. Our surveillance satellites have recorded them feeding on the toxic waste. We suspect they've been designed to eat it. So, uh, how do I become a colicoid? Sir? No, Captain. She's right. To get to the bottom of that pit, she'll need to become like the colicoids. There must be a way for you to take on the colicoids resistance, so you can enter the vault. Captain, where were these creatures created? Well, I can't say for sure, but there's a research lab not far from here that was overrun with colicoids as soon as the Balmorans abandoned it. But the colicoids are vicious creatures. Just one of them tore apart a whole squad. I think I can handle a few bugs. If you can get into that lab and find out the Colicoid secret, we'll do what we can to get you into that toxic pit. Sir, even if we find out what causes this resistance, we don't have the... We'll worry about that later. Right now, our Sith friend has to get into that lab and find out what the Balmorans did to those creatures.
major if we don't get those supply vehicles. My men are working on it, sir, but until that shipment of plasteel I requested three months ago comes in... I don't care! Tear it off the walls if you have to! Is there anything wrong? Don't worry about the Colonel. He's loud and impatient, but we all are these days. What with the supply shortage? Now, did you manage to find anything out of the lab? Captain Ilun and I have been doing our own research, but we haven't discovered much. A lot of data there. Not sure how useful. Have a look at this, Captain. I, I can't make head or tail of it. Hmm. This confirms our suspicions. The colicoids were being mutated to clean up the waste, and it looks like the chemical mutagen they were using could theoretically work. Well, that's it. That's our solution, right? We just replicate this chemical mutagen. Um, sir, there's a problem. Our chief scientist defected to the Republic a few months back. We can't begin to replicate, let alone test the serum without him. I guess we need to undefect him. Undefect indeed. <laughs> You certainly have a way with words, Sith. The scientist's name is Yanis Tirek, and he's still on Balmora, in a Republic research base out near the Toxic Lakes. All right, Sith. It looks like you have your next objective. You find this scientist, you subdue him, my men will bring him back, and we'll get you your chance to swim in toxic waste. Consider it done. Oh, and Sith, hurry back. I just got word that my son passed his trials on Korriban. And is on his way to Balmora. I don't want you to miss him. Well, well. I should have known Bessica wouldn't let me go without a fight. But sending a Sith seems a bit like overkill. Are you here to kill me, or are you going to torture me first? Come peacefully. And no one gets hurt. I risk my life to defect to the Republic. You think you can scare me into returning? There are fates worse than death, and being an Imperial scientist is one of them. You're only making this more painful for yourself. I won't go back to that place. You don't know what it's like. We're not expected to be men. We're machines, slaving day in and day out. No intellectual freedom, no creativity. I'm tired of building killing machines. I want to do some good for humanity. I can't go back there. We'll see how you feel after this. Damn Sith! You'll have to kill me. I'll never return to the Empire willingly. If I wanted to kill you, you wouldn't still be talking. Sith, Major Bessica sent us in after you to collect the scientist. Just make sure he doesn't try to run. Of course. We'll see you back at Sobrik. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm sure you're very busy. Uh, congratulations, by the way. I heard that you found our scientist. We'll whip up that serum and get you into that toxic waste pit in no time. But there's a problem. And I need your help. Just have the serum ready for me. You'll get your serum, but you need to help me. It's my son. He arrived shortly after you left for the research facility, but then he went after some holocron, he called it. A few minutes ago, I got what I think was a distress call from him. He's in trouble. Do you know where he is? We narrowed the origin of the distress call to an abandoned building near the Republic Crater outpost. I'm guessing the Republic's captured him, which means a lot of fighting to free him. Good luck. Oh, 
man sent you for me, didn't he? He must have gotten my distress signal. I guess he's good for something. He kept talking about some Sith he was working with. He didn't mention you were a filthy alien. Vesica's not a fool. He's a smart man. Ha! Some Sith you are. Non-Sith are just pawns in our game, nothing more. Now get me out of here! Give me one good reason. My master's powerful. I'm sure you've heard of him. Lord Estrus. He won't be happy if I don't come back alive. My master sent me here for a holocron the Republic dug up some place or other. I got the holocron, now all I have to do is get out of this place. What purpose does this object serve? It's not the holocron itself that's special. The holocron's a map. It's supposed to point to a powerful weapon of the dark side that's hidden here on Balmora. The weapon's mine if I find it, which I will, now that you're here to free me. I'll free you, if you give me the holocron. Ha! I'm not afraid of you. I'm injured, but I'm still Sith. I found the holocron, it's mine. Now let me out of here. I'm really too kind. Looks like you and my old man are one of a kind, both weak. I'll be sure to tell him what you did for me. Maybe he'll reward you. You should have more respect for your father. Respect him? I'm Sith. I don't respect what I can just as easily kill. Hey! If it isn't the hero of the hour. I just heard from my son. I knew you wouldn't fail me. I was hoping he'd come back to base so we could catch up, but he said he was busy. Do you think he's okay? He will do what he wants, and he can handle himself. Ah, I see. Important Sith business, eh? Well, the Sith are the heart of the Empire. But you're not interested in any of this family stuff, I bet. You're here for your serum. Is it ready for me to use? Sure is. But I think Dr. Tirek here wants to have a word with you first. Dr. Turek will fix you up with a serum and explain what we know about it. So let me get this straight. You kidnapped me away from the Republic so that you could go skinny dipping in a toxic waste pit? A Sith's got to find some way to unwind. You're aware that this serum has never been tested on humans, right? I mean, it should work, but it was designed for colicoids. You let me worry about that. Look, I'm just trying to warn you. This serum could kill you before you even begin. 
and it might not be the most comfortable of deaths. Thank you for warning me. All right. Well, I warned you. I can't expect to change a Sith's mind. This vial contains enough of the serum for about five doses, but I'd use it sparingly. You'll have to fight through the main Republic base to get to the vault, but that's the least of your worries. The collicoids around the vault are the real concern. I'll be going now. Good riddance to you, Sith. Hope whatever you're after is worth it. I don't know what you need in that toxic pit, but you have your serum. Good luck. Sei galut sei da. Iswis us uf andan ja adnam in gridan larja.
Sith, leaving us for good, eh? Got what you came for, I take it? I appreciate the help. The Sith are the heart of the Empire, I always say. Anyway, we wanted to see you off, uh, give you a pat on the back and uh, a little parting gift. I am most grateful. Safe travels, Sith. It was a pleasure working for you. And thanks again for saving my son. I found the artifact. Excellent. I trust Major Bessico was a good help. I've traced another artifact to Nar Shaddaa, but I'm still trying to locate the other two. I'll see what I can learn while you're on Nar Shaddaa. Now hurry, there can be no gain without haste. Ah, apprentice, you've reached Nar Shaddaa safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. Any idea where I should start? In this case, the who is more important than the where. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, Converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He leads a cult of idiots. They won't stop me. Of course not. But they still must be dealt with. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion. But you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. I'm certain they will. I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. <laughs> Oh, Destris, dear brutish Destris, and Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me. My other children would like to play with you. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tangasar Jais embarks prize war pairing Swase ik bus karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. I'm not a king, Riley. You are most kind, my lord. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? I'm not going to help you. You're going to help me. Of course that's what he meant, my lord. Yeah, sure, either way. So long as Palladius is made to swallow dirt. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies. But you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius's legs out from under him. How do I win the love of these poor, downtrodden souls? What Palladius did was find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. He'll need to be a dragon, 
If he hopes to stand against me. With all respect, taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. Prophet? Now that's more to my taste. I'm glad you approve, my lord. The cure to the rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the Laurel classes. <laughs> My lord, I wanted- I wanted to apologize for Dustris earlier. He was out of line. No need to apologize. And no need to call me lord. I confess, I was worried when Dustris said we were getting the help of the Sith. I thought you'd be like Palladius. Self-obsessed and cruel, but no, you're- you're kind. That really depends on my mood. I, I can only go off what I've seen. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. You've done well. Now, tell me about this place. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. Unoguta tan kuikuta. Ikuikuto bamba? If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. Oroe nimne, na naka, sanurire, pobona guta. 
Nisupo gobae. Pompo gag dusta pada wanga, subting wampa. La hagua kilia jacoska. Paguta palco. I'll try not to disappoint. Kadwa shiniko higa danoila akakiza spidata rupa. Yobana pihota mindia. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. I love getting gifts. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself, make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius' speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. Where do I find this scumbag? Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector, not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. Mem Panino, Am Kapina Bek Memno Kimgam. Kampo Jakinano, Ki Nama Am Kabina Wam Wam Karak. Kikuna Mo Uban Chone Alipa, East in Goto. Raka Kem you Am Kam Nemno, Nam Gan Bak Um Nok Ki Jak. Lapo Ram Amka, Mamni Nikag, Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. I need to create a ground quake. Um look inu memnu, amka kam mem perolak palak. Memu apem guana, kumi a yang mem gamba paka. Bomo gala apayang, nila ma ini amka amga. What does taking bribes from a gangster get you? Promoted? Naya nam ram kam. Kala am kamani mani, libik bak, kam perim ganam, bag yang, mani kikup bukam. Nam yuka hal hal krama, nik noga nyalalu mem nyulak. I'm sure they'll understand. Jukaki mem paninu, am kabina bek mem no kimgam. Um luk inu mem no, am kakam mem perolak palak. Yang perlu amka, kelami naya kira nebua ribo. I am most grateful. Kam perum ganam bagi yang manik hikup bukam.
There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! Yeah! But I like the weak. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent her to break it. What makes you worthy of leading such a strong people, Palladius? Ah, the deceiver shows her face. Behold, my children, look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. That's no way to greet a guest, Lord Palladius. Do you fear what I have to say? Fear? Ha! We do not fear anything, do we, my children? You are a mighty blade, my children, but one that needs a great warrior to wield. I am that warrior. Together we lay waste to our enemies. I don't need weapons. My power is real. Is this the world is ending don't be fooled it's a trick attack the deceiver attack My lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. If you wish to serve me, go to the Strel House. My servants will see that you are brought into the fold. The Strel House? A good place. That Dagon Strel was a good man. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. Forgive those who hurt you. Love and respect all, and you will bring honor to yourselves, as well as to me. You're nothing like Palladius or anything I ever heard of. You're crazy. What will forgiveness get us? Ten more years in the gutter, that's what. It's not as if we got any higher up under Palladius. The gutter's the gutter. Besides, this one does what she says. She cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Sith, will you look at this place? Dagon Strel himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd. And neither can Palladius anymore, from the looks of it. I really am the best. I'm guessing the Groundquake was a big help. M my lord. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Who said they'd kill you? P Palladius's men. They said they'd kill me if I didn't bring you this. It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? A call would have been sufficient. No, I like this better. More impact. The truth is, when you first attacked my cult, I was angry, frustrated. And then I realized, 
You're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. Are you trying to make me laugh? I assure you, Sith, I have no sense of humor. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hot. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Jandam Jai Hai Hayat E Prauja Afleta Farte Ja Fragich Wahis. I'm going, Destris, and you're coming with me. You can get yourself killed if you want, but I didn't keep out of Palladius' reach this long just to walk into his grip. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes, but this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. Destron, Rachel. I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. I was prepared to fight through your welcoming committee. Oh, sis. You've proven yourself more than a match for anyone I'd throw at you. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow sinking feeling, your connection to the Force being severed. Soon you will be no more powerful than little Denton here. Or Ramona. For that, you will suffer. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? <laughs> Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. <laughs> What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I have faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Killing you will be such fun. <laughs> well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. You will run this cult to my exact specifications. Don't worry about it. You can count on us. I guess I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again.
Yes, thank you, Sith. We'd still be hiding in that hole if it weren't for you. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. Flesh of my flesh, listen to me. I cannot linger long. It takes too much out of me to appear here, but I must warn you. Your master, Darth Zash, is plotting something. Whatever it is can mean nothing good for you. I killed Scotia. I'm not afraid of Zash. Do not become arrogant. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Carl and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. I hope you killed them. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. Zash's job is to study the Dark Temple. And have you forgotten how hard she worked to get that job? To see Scotia dead? Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor, my mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go. Claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I trust you will let me know if anything else develops. I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you again. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more. the Sith were above petty burglary. I wonder what your master would think if she knew you were breaking and entering. 
Or did she, by chance, send you on this little errand? Your mask. Zash wants it. Zash has her own choice. What need could she have of mine? Your master and I hardly see eye to eye, but this isn't her style. Too much risk of getting caught, too little reward. She has all the marks of an apprentice. When Darth Thanaton learns of this, you will be punished. That mask is mine by right of inheritance. Don't be ridiculous. You're a slave. Still are. The only thing you'll inherit is a slave collar. Lord Crucis, and thank you for the artifact. Apprentice, I know you are very busy, but I must speak with you. I have just had the most amazing dream, and it concerns you. Can't get me out of your head, can you? In the dream, I could see the power of the Force coursing through you. Armies of Jedi rose in your path and fell before you. It's the artifact. It must be. The artifact will give you this power. Guess I'd better finish getting the artifacts then. Only certain individuals, it seems, are properly attuned to the ritual the artifacts describe. I believe the remaining artifacts are on Tatooine and Alderaan. You must hurry and find them. The artifacts are the key to fulfilling your destiny.